board overview. This week is from September 24th to September 28th. During this week, we are going to be talking about the obtaining and removing material, which is moving materials in and out of the cell as a passive transport. Your main objective is to understand the concept of passive transport. The vocabulary is moving, selectively permeable, and passive transport. We're also going to talk about, this is the PowerPoint presentation of the passive transport. We are going to talk about this graph in detail. We're also going to talk about what this meant by high concentration, low concentration, the diffusion, facilitated diffusion, and osmosis. So we are going to be able to understand the passive transport by this video. So for example, about this. We're going to watch the, the first two minutes of it. The barrier of the controls. Then we are going to do the interactivity about passive transport, which is a Quizlet flashcards that you guys are going to read and we are going to discuss in class. And also we have here the passive transport, another detailed video about it. We also have here a class activity that we are going to do together. Our basic ATL skills here are research, collaboration, communication, and transfer skills. So this is our class activity, so passive transport. I'm going to be sharing this with you. Okay, so each group has a different part of the research that they are going to fill up and complete. As I said before, that the basic communication skills or the basic ATL skills, we have communication, transfer, collaboration, and research. This is the uh, further practice. Here is the self-assessment about passive transport, and this is the challenging question. Moving to the other day, which is September 25, we are going to talk about osmosis and facilitated diffusion. So explore the concept of osmosis and facilitated diffusion. Your basic vocabulary is osmosis and facilitated diffusion. We have here a video that explains osmosis and interactivity about osmosis, which is a wiser me activity. It's an interactive worksheet that we are going to solve together and then going back to the to the slides to the pages we also have here the facilitated diffusion and how it is different a facilitated diffusion and osmosis this is a also fit simulation about it then we have the basic Thing that we're going to use is to use a graphic organizer to actually distinguish between osmosis and facilitated diffusion. Then moving to the other part, which is the moving material in and out of the cell, active transport. Explore the concept of active transport. Active transport maintain, which are those are the academic vocabularies. We also have here a uh, video about active transport. This is our interactivity about it. Okay, it's a comprehensive worksheet that also once you scroll down, you have the answer key down there. And another video that talks about active transport. And here, which is a class activity on the concept of active transport. It is another uh, worksheet that we will, be, will be distributed between you guys. So I can't wait to see you all. And this is the last lesson. Okay, last part of the lesson, which is distinguished between intocytosis and exocytosis. And we have a video about endocytosis and another video about exocytosis and so on. I can't wait to see you.